Hello everybody, Mike here with Flipping Goodies. Today is Sunday, it's around one o'clock, and I had to pick up a few things from the locker. So why not come now? The wife's down at the pool, so let's see what I have to pick up. So that's at the house. We need a remote and a Lola remote. So MK, I cannot believe this stuff's still selling. If you watch the channel, I picked up a ton of this X10 stuff. I think it was about four or five. No, it's more than that. It was like 10 totes full. And we narrowed it down to about four totes. And there was absolute ton of it. So, I see that one right there. That's it right here. That should be an MK-10A Lola remote. And then he ordered some other weird remote. We need a UR-86A. UR-86A. That's a 74. That's a 74. That's an 86A. That's what we need. Okay, so we got those two. Those sold on eBay. And then we have one that's sold on Amazon. Let me look that one up. Oh, I know what that is off the top of my head. That is an appliance module. 46, AM46. Because I looked through these the other day. I had an offer on eBay. And I have a whole bunch of this stuff. But they're different. That's LM465. My count was wrong. Thank God I looked. I only have one of these left. So this sold on Amazon. This uh, this is $18. That is... Uh, well, same person bought both of them. For a total of $25 plus shipping. So those three out. I am really debating whether to keep holding on to this stuff or not. I mean, it sells every once in a while now. It used to sell pretty regular. But I've run out of a lot of the good stuff. And this stuff just seems to be sitting. So, I have a shelf full there and like a quarter of a shelf here. And that's pretty much it for that. Now, another reason we're here is I have a couple of offers. So I'm looking for 2170. 2170. If you see it, say stop. I always like to, when I have the opportunity on an offer, is always just double check I have the actual item for sale. This is it here, 2170. It's an older club. This is probably added to buy the thousand dollar buyout in pretty good shape. Um, head looks good, bottom looks good, shaft looks good, grip is okay. I wouldn't say it's fabulous. So, on that one, we have an offer of, and I'm just discounting this all the way. So, 15, I had it up for 19, they offered 1501, so we'll accept that offer and get this out the door. I literally have nothing left into this buy, um, this has been, it was a garage sale, and then I have an offer for a Cheers Boston hat. So while we're here, we'll accomplish all of this at the same time. I'm going to take this out. This has got to come down. Hold on one second. Okay, so my hats, let's go out where you can see better. Take this on out the door. Okay. 
So my hats, these hats here you'll notice, right? This was a uh, garage sale slash business buyout I did. Um, I actually own the business now, but I don't do anything with it. It was all a bunch of golf equipment. Um, so we're looking for, it's going to be a black hat, almost positive. Bike week. No, this one. This one here, Cheers Boston. And whatever he offered, I'm accepting. Don't even know what the offer is, but I'm accepting it. So let's get this over here. Put that over there. And we'll put this with this stuff here. What did I do with that? Oh, there it is. Okay. Those items there. The offer for that was a whopping $8 plus shipping. So we'll take that. Move that out the door. Now. Got that one done. We'll grab all that stuff. Bring it out to the car. And now we need to look at. What happened to me. The other day. I was outsmarted. By a buyer. Hmm. Um, what I've been doing is I've been, haven't been listing, I haven't listed in two and a half weeks on eBay and, um, I was away for a week and a half. And then when I got back, we did the live show Sunday and I told everybody I was not going to list a thing and I can prove that to you because here, so as you can see on this thing, it says, uh, Sansui, well, maybe you can't see that. It's upside down, but I'm not going to change that. All four for $125. I actually wound up paying $25 each, so $50 into these. These are beautiful Sansui's. They're $400. Haven't even listed those yet. I had a box problem also. My six by four by fours, I was almost out. And then I had, to, I had to do an emergency order from Amazon, got those in. Those, are, I think I got six left of those. But today I was in my garage looking around, and I found another box full of them. So I actually have another 80 more. Different kind, but that's fine. Six by four by four is all I concern myself about when it comes to those. Let's see if we can't do that. Because those boxes that were blocking this were a waste. Yes, that will work. Yes, now I don't have to keep on fighting through it. Books are going away. Either buy them now or they're gone. I need these shelves for something more important than books. Okay, so getting back to my little story about this eBay buyer. So... As I've been shuffling things up, I've been repricing. As I've been repricing, I've made some mistakes. Mostly on shipping as I reprice. So, that being said, this here, I have listed for $90. Um, doesn't seem to want to sell. I might have to lower the price a little bit. I'm bringing all this stuff home with me because all my CDs are now at the house. And there's no sense in me keeping stuff here in such small quantity that I have to come over here and chase it down. So these will come back to the house with me. This will become an empty bin. And so forth. So anyway, bin repricing. And... Um, within that, I've made a couple of mistakes. Now, one of them I got caught on, which is fine. It happens. I'm going to lose a little bit of money because of it, but not a ton. It's not like I lose, I think I'm going to lose $8 total. And it's not like I lost money because I still make money on the item. I just lost money on shipping. So, that being said, it was a, um... 
Funko Pop. Funko Pop, not this one. It's one of the bigger ones. Eddie Guerrero with a car. Wrestling, I think it was. Um, or I think he is. Something with, to do with the WWE. I know it was Eddie Guerrero in the car. I know that much. Okay, so. I... Let's see. How'd this all work out? Thursday, I got an offer on it for $24. And it was going overseas. And I had it listed as first class. So first class overseas, what it cost... Uh, six. I think I charged $17.99 or $18.99. I think it's $18.99. Problem is, that's a two-pounder. Going overseas, and it cost me $26.99. So I'm going to lose $8 in shipping. Then when I looked at it, I realized that my price was wrong also. So I declined the offer. I went and edited the listing. I raised the shipping to what it was supposed to be. I also raised the price. He made another offer on it, even with the raised price, for lower than his first offer. So I declined that. Then I hear my email go off, and I look, and there it is. It sold, that same item sold on Bonanza to the same buyer that was trying to buy it from me off of eBay for $34.99 and first class shipping because the shipping didn't update on Bonanza. So if you're familiar with Bonanza, you can attach that to your eBay account, bring all your listings over there and pretty much do nothing as far as like updating or anything like that. And you'll make a few sales a year. Not a ton, but you'll make a few. So, I have the decision to make. I can cancel the order, say that the shipping's wrong. Or I can bite the bullet and say, you beat me on this one, here's your item. So, I want to play fair and say, you beat me and here's your item. Um, what would you do in that instance? Would you cancel the order and tell them to buy it with the full shipping? Or... After the buyer has beat you, do you say you win, here's your item? How would you handle that? Like I said, I'm going to send out the item today um, and just be done with it. Because I still make money on the item. And I'm really trying to clear out all my Funko Pops. I have them listed everywhere. Um, and the faster I can get rid of them, the better off I am. So tell me what you think you would do in the in, in the circumstance I'm in cancel or fulfill the order and be done with the whole item and the buyer I already have him blocked on eBay because I feel like this might become a problem for me so I blocked him on eBay um, and I'll fulfill the Bonanza order as much as I hate to but gotta move out you know some of this stuff has to go and that's my goal so I will get that out of here then I'm looking here while we're standing here. I can guarantee you this is not listed. I can 100% guarantee that is not listed. Oh boy. This is why I would fail as a full-time reseller. I could probably look around here and find a couple more things. I know for a fact he's not listed yet. And then those two golfers up there aren't listed yet. I know the speakers aren't listed. Um, that should all be listed. Books are all on Amazon. I sell one every few weeks. Um, I know those bags are listed. I'm surprised that Burton hasn't sold yet. That's a nice bag. But we'll see. And then... Golf clubs, not doing so bad. We're getting there. Got some over here and a little bit more over here. And then a pile up here. Which, that sold once and then I got a return on it because it said in the listing the head was a little bit loose. And this is one of my hickory sticks. And it clearly states in all my listings that these hickory sticks are being sold for as collector items, not to be used. If they need to be used, they will need to be refurbished. But I took a return on it anyway. Go figure. 
But everything you see with a number here is listed and ready to go. I got a few more golf clubs today to list, and we'll I'm gonna start listing again this week. So we'll see if that pans out. Oh, results of not listing and just pulling listings and relisting them, sell similar stuff like that. Repricing, playing with promoted listings all week. I honestly have not listed one item. And sales were pretty good this week, so I can't complain about that. The method, even though my store was dead for a week and a half while I was on vacation, the whole method of uh, ending and then selling similar seems to work out pretty well. So if you're struggling with sales, you might want to give that a try. I was doing a whole page. I have my pages set up for 200 listings. So 200 items a day I would take out wait a half hour and then send them back up sell similar um and that sold a lot of things that have been pretty idle in my store i sold some baseball cards this week for some decent money um this x10 stuff like i said kind of this was more of an amazon beast this was really selling well on amazon more than it was on ebay but then i get two sales out of that today and it's ironic because this is listed as x10 and then whatever it is so that would put it on the last page of my ebay store and that's what i refreshed the night before so that method seems to hold true if you can do it and that's what i've been doing okay so that's my story that's what happened we'll see you next time oh don't forget the worst damn reselling show every sunday night 8 p.m eastern standard time it's either on my channel or scott's channel dumpster diver dad I think that's how he what he goes by. Um, you can find us there at 8 p.m. We'll see you then.